Heroes Hour is one of those games where you look at it and it seems really simple. You just run around and you collect units and buildings until you realize the people defending the buildings are really strong. But you can level up your base and then you get more units. But then what upgrade do you get for your hero? Do you get multiple heroes or just one so they get really strong? Do you max money to buy an army or do you get an army so you have enough resources to buy the buildings to get money? And before you know it, you're sat, unshowered, freshly pissed pants having completely forgotten what the sun looks like. And I haven't even got into the time travel yet. So, you get into the game and the first thing you realize is literally everyone else is so much stronger than you. I felt like a line of coke at a stock brokerage. But I waited and I built up an army and then I immediately detached my entire army from my hero. You know, and they all died. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll just build more. You get to build new units weekly. It's day two. And the worst part is while I was getting clapped, Chris was out clapping cheeks and getting a wood mill. Well, the only wood I was touching was my own, while I killed time for the next week. The only plus is that I decided I might as well go touch this green shit, which turned out to be a very good decision. But for now, it was just a wobbly acid trip. Good news, Chris also lost his entire army, so I'm back in it now. Plus. I just got a new hero, which gave me a very, very small army. But I still managed to actually get a mine, right? And I know getting a mine on your third turn isn't impressive, but fuck you, okay? I was in the fucking trenches. I need this. I need to celebrate this. Now, at this point, Chris had literally no army, so his turn was just build, end. But I, I was scheming up a storm, right? Because I had... What the fuck does this say? I can't read my own handwriting. Because I had an upgrade that meant if I won a fight, I got free guys, so if I could just go fight a load of easy fights and get infinite guys. Issue, there aren't any easy fights. But back to those random green things, right? They turned out to be obelisks and touching them shows me where a load of treasure is. So, cause I just fucked around and touched all of them, I got busted OP shit and loads of XP because I did a treasure hunt. A thing that children can do. You know Chris was fucking fuming. Now, nothing that interesting happened for a while. Just grinding and leveling up. Because the issue is, the only way I can attack Chris is guarded by the strongest shit. So I had a lot of work to do, right? I maxed my grind set. I unlocked spells, my favorite one being transform, where you literally just gaslight the enemy. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your backline was definitely just three pigeons and a spider, of course. Meanwhile, Chris was absolutely destroying the ecosystem and fucking everything in a five mile radius so that he could make a fur affinity account. But while he was recruiting animals, I was just summoning shit out of thin air. And then I got the artisan lounge, which let me make a horror. This thing single-handedly carried more than anything else in my army. It terrifies, it's got long range, artillery, summons worms, and fuck it, at this point it might as well give you head in real life, it's broken. Now, Chris wasn't slacking, and he had one too. And with these, we just slammed through everything around us, right? And after that, Chris buys some weird goo cum monster that just steals his mercury every turn. And after a cheeky power nap, I finally slammed through and made it underground, where the only other towns existed, right? Whoever owned this would dominate cash flow, and Chris wasn't even underground yet, so obviously I took this win magnanimously and with class. I've been screwed because I I I I, I just didn't go through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> didn't you say this game had time travel? Yes. Here it is. Just matches F. Oh yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm so fucking ready. What? And I know what you're thinking. Uh, William, that looks a lot like the game crashing. Yes. And I was stuck. Starting and restarting the game over and over until we realized we had to play it back from last turn. Please? 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 Oh. Fuck! Okay, you have to redo your turn, but we're fine.
Holy oh, shit. Holy I, shit. I my oh my god, I was so fucking scared. So clearly, this isn't a bug. The game just wants us to time travel. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm far too fucking gone to give up on this game, okay? I would, I, I would recode this entire fucking thing just to finish it. I'm that far gone, okay? At this point, I was just stuck in a purgatory of making an action, and then it crashing, and then everything I do being reset, doing the same thing, and then it crashes, and I have to go back. Ah! You, you just want to restart. I don't Actually. want to restart. No, I don't want to give up. No, I, don't, I can't uh, be asked to go all the way back, no. bro. I can't. I can't. What? One more try, and if that's it, we just we give up. We call the game yeah. cringe, and we play something else, bro. And to be honest, it was really starting to get to me. I started hearing the iPhone alarm sound effect over and over again in the soundtrack. Hold on, let me get it, let me get it. This one. This. You'll hear it right at the start, the dilly dilly has sampled in the soundtrack, and I kept hearing it. It's back! It's back! It's the it's the iPhone ringtone song. Listen, the am I going insane? It's it's that Probably. one. It's it's radar. It's in the background. The is in the background. Bro, am I going fucking mad? Yeah, probably. No, I don't. No, it's fucking there. And it crashed again. I mean, we time traveled again. Sorry, and uh, the game's not corrupted, by the way. All of the mines were simply gold mines in this timeline, you know? Oh my god, everything on the map is a fucking gold mine now. No! The game didn't corrupt and turn all the gold mine, all the mines in the game on the game into gold. It would never do Oh my god, this this game would be my favorite strategy game if it wasn't held together with cope and a single strand of string. God fucking damn. Now at this point, I was I was winning, okay? I could literally just stat stick Chris. I walk in, I put my people down, and then I just watch as he desperately tries to win and I fucking shit on him. And, um, because of that, I may have got a little overconfident. Chris left his main guy in the open, right? And I know him monologuing about Sun Tzu was kind of a red flag. You know why I'm gonna win? Because Sun Tzu once says, appear strong when weak, and appear weak went strong. You know what else Sun Tzu says? What? You shouldn't always believe quotes on the internet. Sometimes they're made up on the spot. But I saw it said easy and just fuck it, I had to. Issue is, he had a perk that gave him soldiers. Oh, I don't want to swap the fucking Neveris rune cover. Blink, 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 blink. You're ready, Chris. You're yeah, not let's go. Die. I just realized you have like no people. Oh, you have bodyguard, fuck. Shit. Well, you have a really good bodyguard. I think I fucked up. I still win these. I still- Fucking hell! It said easy! I, I think I have to re-look up what the definition of easy is, because I, I don't think this is it. Fuck- uh, No? I, I guess? What a shame. Guess I don't have to get out strategized. Sorry, Chris. Basic time travel. L. Actually, no. No, no, no. I'm not a pussy. I'm not- I'm still gonna fight him, because he tricked me the first time. Just because the game went back, we're gonna go for it. No, no, you're right. I- I lost. You outplayed me by sun Tzuing me. I'm- I'm going to get sun Tzu. It fucking hurts to do this, but I'm not a bad prick, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to- Wait, hold on, let me play it up. <clears throat> wow, you only have two minstrels and a satyr. This will be easy. You know when Sun Tzu said, appear weak when strong. Well, um... Done. <laughs> okay, that was perfect. <laughs> this time, I might lose, but I'm gonna do it better, right? I'm gonna take out as many of his troops as I possibly can. Yeah, we might lose, but fight on, soldiers. Your sacrifices will not be in vain. Uh, fucking never mind, I guess. And after that fuckery, we managed to fix the crashing. I, I, I think, I hope, I pray. Chris rallied a full mounted attack on my base, right? But here's the thing. I might have had no units, but I had two things. I had a wall and I had the comet spell. Now, this just does a fuck ton of damage to everything that it hits, including your own units. But what if there was some wall, for example, Hypothetically, obviously, that kept all of his units on one side, so I could just spam it and kill all of them. 
it would be a bit fucked, wouldn't it? It would potentially, you know, win the entire match for me. Maybe. Maybe if it... <laughs> I had been using the summoning thing I got earlier, and then blood warping, to turn the summon shit into horrors. I had, like, 20 horrors. It was genuinely insane. It hit the point where I would just perma-fear his entire army in a corner, right? And the best part is, after every fight, I would then summon more shit, and then blood warp more shit. I just marched through his people, took his town, marched into his base and set up a catapult, and then there was this weird awkward period, right, where everyone in the game knows I've won. But we had to wait for the catapult to get rid of all of his walls. But once all the walls were finally gone and he had just fully accepted it, I crashed in and I took his base and... And now, finally, can I... Can I please just... No. Can I... <laughs> no, oh Will. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if I'm going... You know, I don't even care. I don't even... I don't have to, I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck. I'm just summoning my horrors. I don't care. <laughs> you got this, bro. Now nah, you got this, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, I <laughs> You got this. Know. You got this. I think I got this, I guess. <laughs> I think you got it. I think you got it. <laughs> Damn, that was close, though. That was close, though. That was intense. <laughs> it was really close, I guess. Can I? Can I please just win? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm confused. How is it? Is it not I, over? I don't know. I, I, Do I, you I, want it to be over? I've taken your city. Like yeah, probably. I don't know. I, I, I think I'm supposed to surrender. Hmm. End your turn. I'll okay. surrender. Save game. And I guess we don't know who won then. You know? Hey, yeah, it's a draw. Let's go. No clue. Here's my review of this game, right? Imagine you went to a restaurant. The restaurant's decor is beautiful. It's flawless, it's perfect. And then you go in the kitchen. They have the best herbs, the best chefs, the best spices. You, you get your food, right? It's perfectly seasoned, but it's a bowl of shit. It doesn't matter how incredible the restaurant is or how delicious the seasoning is when the basic fundamentals aren't there and you're eating shit. This is a really, really good game. When it feels like being a game and not a screen that says your game's not fucking working.